I wouldn't say it's difficult because we've been on the end of the losing, like the totem pole where we're 15 and 17. So to be able to look at your record and seeing your 12 and 0 and all the hard work you put in makes you want to work even harder to keep pushing because you know how fast this can turn around and we can we can be 0 and 3 in the conference and everything can turn around real quick. So we're kind of we're excited where we're at. We've been working hard, but we're also know we have a lot of work to go. Definitely, it it makes it a lot easier to know that we we kind of play the season in three chapters. You have the non-conference, the conference, and then postseason. So we're we're starting our second chapter of the season where we put that last chapter to rest, and it's time to amp up everything to get going even more because we know conference is just going to be just as hard. You you couldn't say it was it was great. Like we've struggled. We've had games where we started so slow that they're up 20 or 30 points. And with that crowd, it's so hard to try and fight back. But I mean, with this team, we know we have to get off to a big start with not just the crowd, but the talent they have. So just knowing that from our past experiences that getting off to a great start is such a big thing for us. I mean, you can always feel pre as much prepared as possible every single game but you never know like what's going to happen from foul trouble to any type of thing so you just try and go out there and play your game and stay level-headed through ups and downs and stay together because things can turn out great for you things can go wrong and you just got to be able to stay together to fight through adversity because we we've we were at Kansas and we were down 15 to two and we were able to fight back because we stood, we stayed together because we're so connected as a group. So if we can just, no matter where, what point of the game, they're gonna make a run. So we gotta be able to just stay together. Um, they're big, obviously they have maybe a number one pick right now in the NBA draft. So just going into that, they start two seven footers. That's always a challenge for any team, especially with the style of basketball we play. If we don't rebound the ball, they're gonna get easy buckets and we're not gonna be able to play our fast pace that we like. So that's definitely a challenge for us. They're, they're a scrappy team. They're always in the gaps. So it's sometimes you'll have a hard time driving. So we always gotta make the extra pass and then drive off of that. So there's just little things that we've been focusing on to try and execute against them. For you personally, growing up and seeing them through the years be at this level and now there's two on the other court, what's your time? Can you just talk about that from your perspective and what you've seen in the program growing up? I mean, they're still a great team. They're still going to be in the NCAA tournament, a top team in this conference. They're going to make a big run in the tournament. So you can't really take any credit away from them. Their program's always been great. But to be able to look and see that we're not just nationally ranked higher than they are, but we've been playing really well as a team, it, it's great to be a hometown kid and be able to experience that. Because as younger, I never got to experience that as a fan. So being a, a player to be able to do that is it's a great feeling. Uh, our chemistry, honestly, there's there's been games where we could have last year we probably would have we were down 15 or so we would have quit almost and just not been able to stay together because we would have tried to do too much as an individual and we like uh, we we were having good seasons individually but it was never coming together. So this year there's so many times where like I said we're at in Vegas we were playing Kansas State where we could have easily fell apart or Xavier or Kansas where we always find a way to stay together and to make people, somebody makes a big shot and it just sparks us. And as soon as we see everyone like come together, we're, we're, we're everywhere, flying around rotations, we're getting rebounds, we're playing harder. So just everyone wants to win for each other. Me personally, I love his energy. He's, his energy is, it's contagious. He's, You'll, somebody will shoot a shot and you think, oh, there's no way he can get an offensive rebound. He goes and gets a tip in. Or he's diving on the ground or he's making a good pass. His just energy, it's, it's super contagious. Have you uh, run across any of Marcelo's pickups up here in the Valley offseason? 
Uh, I play. I played with them. Aiton's come down here and played with us and pick up. I played with Barcelo here in the Valley, so I kind of know them a little. Do you have any uh, close friends or close family members who are U of A fans? Actually, my best friend. He goes to U of A. He's. I've been hearing it all week. We're gonna beat you by thirty. Been hearing it all week. So, I mean, it's nothing new. That's what happens. But it's great for the just the state of Arizona to be a part of this game because. Both ends are having great seasons so far, and just uh, for this environment to kind of come together as a state to be able to enjoy a game like this. Can you talk to more, more of the buzz around town about this particular game, just because of how well you guys have done and what people kind of have to be talking about? Definitely, like, like Coach said, it's like I'll go outside and you'll see a student, good luck at the U of A game and stuff like that, or you'll hear a U of A fan talking to you saying, we're going to beat you and all this. So just around the valley right now, you hear so many fans talking about it because it's one of the biggest games probably so far this year and maybe one of the biggest games in this rivalry that it's because we've been ranked so high so I mean you definitely hear the buzz it's been a lot louder lately. I try and stay level headed and just push it off to the side because at the end of the day it's going to be us 10 guys on the court it's going to determine the game.